للقاء كلمة شكرا. We wanted to show the commitment of the European Union to the partnership with Sudan. Uh, with this partnership, we want to uh, foster peace and stability in Sudan proper, but also beyond, around the region. And this is even more important in the view of the current developments in the region, especially in the neighborhood, uh, in what is happening in uh, your eastern neighbor in Ethiopia. Uh, we appreciate the efforts of Sudanese government and Prime Minister Hamdok aimed at uh, searching for a peaceful solution, both bilaterally as well as a chair of the IGAD. We support those efforts. Uh, the European Union has consistently called for cessation of hostilities, for unimpeded immediate access of humanitarian workers to the affected areas, and for the protection of civilians. And I have repeated these calls this morning when I met Minister of Peace of Ethiopia in Addis. We also extremely appreciate the Sudan's policy of open doors, the generosity with which Sudan and its people welcomed Ethiopian refugees who were looking for safety inside your country. We very much appreciate that and we are determined to support Sudan in its efforts and we are determined to help also with our own humanitarian aid for the, this new influx of refugees. We have immediately allocated 4 million euros for this purpose and through our union civil protection mechanism, we will also contribute to the, to the dispatch of the base camp that has been um, a donation from a number of European countries uh, led by Sweden and with the participation of Denmark, Norway, Luxembourg, and Estonia. Uh, finally, uh, our support for, to Sudan in general is marked by especially our support for the transition agenda of the Sudanese government. European Union strongly supports this transition, which we believe is vital for the future of the country. And it, it is uh, my great pleasure that I can announce that today the European Commission has allocated additional 70 million euro for the Sudan Family Support Program, which we believe is essential in helping people deal with the challenges that this transition brings. And we hope that they will continue, the Sudanese people, continue to support the transition agenda of this government. Thank you. And now I would invite Director uh, Eric Chevalier, Director of the Crisis Center of the Foreign Ministry of France. Thank you, Commissioner, Madam Minister, ladies and gentlemen. I will not be long. I just wanted to uh, inform you that I've been asked by the highest authorities in France to accompany the Commissioner, who is leading this delegation, to, uh, sh to, to convey three messages. The first one is that Europe is united in support to Sudan. The Commission, of course, represented by the uh, Commissioner who is leading the delegation and the member states such as France. And this is why I'm here. The second message is to reiterate this very strong commitment and support of France towards the transition in Sudan. This is a very consistent position that our highest authorities have expressed. I'm here also to reiterate the uh, commitment from President Macron to organize in Paris, first half of next year, a high-level international conference in support to the transition in Sudan that we will be happy to host, uh, including with representatives from the private sector. And the third message, which is very much in line with what the commissioner said, is uh, regarding this crisis uh, linked to the uh, situation in the neighboring country and the uh, arrival of refugees here uh, coming from Ethiopia. Uh, we are clearly uh, supporting uh, Sudan in, his efforts, in its efforts to deal with this situation. Uh, I was asked to make an assessment of the situation and I can 
tell you that we've already identified 1 million euro line specifically dedicated to this crisis, and we will consider even additional support. Madam Minister, the message is very clear from France. We are with you. We want to congratulate the Prime Minister, the government, for the achievements in this transition. Thank you.